Good morning everybody. It is Friday morning here in Melbourne. Um, it's a very, very frosty morning here today. Uh, I was going to see if I can show you outside my window. Let me just... Look at that. There's a big, massive apartment building over there that you just cannot see because it's hidden by the fog. So that's what's on the other side of this camera as we look out <laughs> all my windows. Good morning, how are you? Um, what I'm talking about today is um, this concept, sorry, just got a notification popping up there, um, is the concept of, uh, or the metaphor um, that I came up with the other day. Hi, Teresa, good to see you on. Um, I, think I've I think I've told you about this concept, Teresa, um, is the concept of um, weight loss being like a video game. Now, let me just walk you back a few steps and uh, explain where this came from. So in, um, in a weight loss journey, uh, you, well, in, in this journey, you might often hear me talking about um, the need to level up. And I often was asked, what do you mean by level up? So essentially, the person that you are today, the person that um, has... You're, the person you are today with the habits, the beliefs, um, the thoughts about yourself, the mindset, the identity, that is the person who has the results that you have today. So if you're not happy with the results that you have today, there's something within that mix of what you're doing, what you're believing, um, how you're thinking. Um, so the food that you're eating, um, the, the way you're moving your body, uh, the thoughts that you have about yourself and about your journey, um, all your habits, your beliefs, your identity, all of those sorts of things, something in the mix needs to change in order for you to become a different version of yourself who will then have a different result. And what we do is we call this um, up-leveling or leveling up. And as I was uh, thinking about this the other day, I came up with this, this great metaphor uh, that was like um, a video game. And I want you to just think back to um, if, when you were a child. I remember when I was a child, I used to love playing video games of uh, all sorts, you know, back in, the, back in the 80s when they were very, very, you know, very, very basic. Uh, and then through the 90s when they started to come online. Um, you think about a video game of some sort and what happens is you start at level one, right? You start the game at level one. You have an avatar that's, you know, your version of you online. Your avatar has very basic skills and very basic tools, but they also face very basic challenges at level one. Say, you know, it's one of those shoot 'em up, I don't know, facing the bad guys type of game. Your, your character will have very basic tools um, to you know, help them through the situations and they'll also have very, very basic skills. There'll be very limited things that they're able to do. Um, you as a player as well, a player in that game, you know, if you're just starting to play this game, you will also have very limited um, skills and abilities because you're playing this game for the first time. So, um, and then the challenges that you're facing, uh, your av the challenges that your avatar in the game is facing will also be very um, basic. They'll be very uh, entry level, let's just say. Once your avatar and you as a player have learned to master those challenges at that level, that's when you get to go up to the next level, all right? When you get to go up to the next level, both your avatar, your avatar has new skills, has new tools, and also faces slightly harder challenges. You as a player are now playing a different version of that game. It's unfamiliar to you, so you've got to be playing. You, um, you're, not, you're not necessarily familiar with everything that's going to happen at that level of the game. So at first, it's unfamiliar. Uh, you may, you know, your avatar may get killed and have to go back to level one again, but you get to um, scoot through level one pretty easily again because you've been through that situation before, you know how to master that level, then you go up to level two again and you face that challenge again. And this time, once you start to be able to master what's happening at that level, then you get to win again and you get to go up to the next level again. So that is very similar to the weight loss game in... or or any challenge that we face in life, any goal that we set for ourselves, 
we are going to continually um, needing to up level our skills, our beliefs, our identity, the things that we do and face a new set of challenges with every level that we get to. Alrighty, so um, so think about think about the weight loss journey. Some of the very first basic steps that we need to consider are, you know, perhaps changing the food that is going into your mouth, uh, perhaps uh, increasing the amount of water that you're drinking, perhaps increasing the number of hours that you're sleeping, um, looking at some stress, basic stress reduction tools. And then once you've learned about what to do, you know, what are the basics? How do you move your body? You know, getting some, getting some more movement into your body. Once you've looked, um, added some more basic um, tools to your, to your um, repertoire there, um, then you start to face different challenges in life. So the challenges that might come at you during, during uh, your stages of leveling up might be dealing with a stressful day at work. How do you navigate dealing with a very, very stressful day at work when your old, the old version of you would just want to turn to food for comfort? Uh, might be feel like or tell yourself that you're too busy to cook a healthy meal you're too busy to look after yourself um, therefore you're just going to get you know grab the convenient option of getting takeaway um, so a new version of you is going to know how to master that situation is going to know how to prepare for that situation is going to know that it is going to come and is going to be prepared, is going to have food ready, is going to know how to win in that situation. Uh, another challenge that you may face along the journey is um, potentially some relationship drama. Um, say you're having issues with a spouse or with a family member, a child. Um, what happens, uh, you know, the old version of you may decide that, you know, the other person and their, uh, or your, your emotions during that time need soothing with food or say say it's a child or somebody else in your family who constantly needs your attention say the older version of you would always put their needs first rather than uh, making sure that your own needs were put first so that you could give your best to them hey lisa good to see you on um so it's about okay how do i face each of these different types of challenges. How do I know to, yeah, how do I face each of these different challenges in a way that still supports my needs and my health? Um, and, and yeah, like I said, the old version of you may succumb to old habits, uh, may succumb to turning to food for comfort, may succumb to putting other people's needs first, other people's wants first over your own. But the new version of you is going to have to learn that it's okay and it's actually necessary to put your own needs first and um, to expect uh, expect challenges like this in your life life is never going to go 100 percent easy and smooth we are going to always face dramas so how do we learn to navigate these times and stay true to who we want to be and the goals that we want to achieve um, so if you think of uh, if we go back to that game um, video game uh, analogy level one might be somebody who has a significant amount of weight to lose is not eating the right foods is not drinking enough water is not getting enough sleep um, is not moving their body versus the the highest level might be somebody who has mastered the art of mastering their mind mastering their body is now standing on stage ripped as hell uh, for a body bodybuilding type competition <laughs> So there's a whole heap of difference in mastering everyday situations between you know level one and level say that's level ten. So somebody who uh, is able to stand on a bodybuilding stage, and I'm not saying that needs to be everybody's goal. It's certainly not my goal. <laughs> it was once upon a time, and I realized I realized I just didn't want it enough to do the things I needed to do. Um, so, but the the difference is that the person who stands on stage has mastered the art of uh, their their thoughts that go on in their head 
They have mastered the art of getting through stressful days, of getting through dramas in their life, um, putting their own needs first, putting their own goals first, uh, staying true to the goals that they want to achieve so that they can then stand on that stage and have their bodies judged by other people. <laughs> That's a pretty scary concept, right? Most of us are just trying to, you know, most of us, we hit that, you know, maybe level four or five in the game and we go, oh, this is too hard. I can't. And we go back to level one, we pull the weight back on and we go, oh, now I've got to start again and try and lose this weight again. The good thing is that some of these situations that we might have navigated in the past, we know how to deal with, but sometimes we're hitting that wall at one of the levels in the game. We just haven't learned how to master that particular situation and it keeps tripping us up again. So that situation is going to be different for everyone. So every time you come up against challenges in life that you feel uh, the, the reason that you might be using as an excuse, to hold you back from continuing to achieve your goals, I want you to stop and think. <clears throat> I don't want you, <clears throat> rather than thinking of these challenges or thinking uh, that these are reasons why you can't lose your weight, I want you to just think about them as just the next challenge in this game, all right? It's just the next level and it's the next challenge that you need to face and you need to master in order to continue winning at the game, okay? So everybody's challenges and everybody's situations are going to be different, but learning how to navigate them, learning how to create success, even when the world seems to be turning topsy-turvy for you, um, is what is going to get you to the next level, all right? So weight loss is not just about what we stick in our bodies, okay? It's not just about the food we eat, it's not just about the water we drink or the exercise. It is about how we navigate life and how we navigate life in a way that means we continue to put ourselves first and nourish ourselves every single day without turning back to old habits that are familiar and comfortable. Anyway, that was probably a little bit of a rambling. <laughs> I hope it made sense to you guys. Does, do, do any of you have any questions for me now? I, I can see comments coming up, so they just everyone's just saying hi. Let me know if you have any questions around this at the moment. Happy to answer them here for you live. Is there anything that you might be struggling with at the moment <laughs> that I can help you with here live? Lisa, do you have any questions? Teresa, what about you? I know we've had our coaching sessions this week <laughs> and you're both having some wins. Lisa, you especially, congratulations on your seven pound win already. Sleep, okay, talk to me about sleep, Teresa. What's going on for you? I know you've been working through the night, being a shift worker. How do you navigate? How, let me ask you a question. How, how do you navigate those times when you know that you need to work through the night, when you've got a night shift? How do you master the art of still getting enough sleep? Um, how do you prepare or how do you recover your body? Um, <laughs> yeah, I need more sleep. Yeah, exactly. How do you master the art of either preparing your body for that night shift or how do you recover from that night shift? What is your strategy to make sure that your body is still coping with those crazy hours that you need to work? Um, yeah, beautiful. You make it a priority the next day. Yeah, I love that. That's great. So they're the sorts of they're the sorts of questions, challenges. So those challenges are probably always going to pop up in your life. Um, the challenge of, you know, having to work through the night, being, you know, being um, in the industry that you're in. <laughs> you take it easy the next day and drink more water. Absolutely. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, water does help. Water definitely helps with sleep. Um, yeah, and it helps with energy as well. So beautiful. Um, I love that. You're already thinking, you're already creating um, um, strategies to be able to win at this. It is tough when you, um, have to, uh, when you have to do shift work and work through the night. But yeah, um, and, and you know, in life in general, it's about taking those moments and go, 
Okay, how am I gonna win at this? This is a challenging situation. It may be a situation that doesn't pop up in your life all the time, maybe it does. If it's a situation that pops up in your life all the time, um, and you seem to be not coping with it very well, this is life's way of saying, <laughs> okay, here's a challenging situation. This is something you need to master in order to be able to continue to move forward uh, with, your, with your goals and succeed at what you're doing. I have this theory that when we set a goal for ourselves, <laughs> I don't know what your your beliefs are, but you know I believe in the power of the universe, and um, I have this belief that um, when we set a goal for ourselves, no matter what that goal is, the universe says, "Really, you want that?" Because we have this all. Remember, think about our thoughts. We are we always want a whole heap of things in our life at once right and I you know we're sending all sorts of messages out to the universe the universe hears them and it's like okay which one of these is actually true which one of these wants needs is actually true and so the universe sends us little challenges okay you want that well here's the first here's the first challenge that you need to master in order to show me that you're serious about this and if you can master that challenge, the universe goes, oh, okay, okay, this is telling me that this, you know, she's serious about this. Okay, oh, here's the next challenge. Okay, oh, you've learned to master that. If we come up against these challenges, like blocks, if we bounce back from them instead of pushing through them, um, that's, I think, you know, in my, in my mind, the way, I, the way I process things, I see that as the universe going, okay, you weren't really serious about that. Okay, so this is not, not another one of those, uh, you know, pie in the sky ideas that you had that you're not really serious about. Okay, well, we won't continue to give you more opportunities uh, in that area. Um, you know, we know that that wasn't serious. So if you're absolutely 100% serious about the goals that you want, you will take those challenges and you'll go, right, okay, this is exciting. This is one of those challenges that now I get to blast through. It's not going to hold me back. This is something that I am going to find a way to navigate through. <laughs> hey Anne, good to see you. So you jumped in. Sorry, I couldn't get back to your comment before I was already live. Um, okay, so you're often told that to exercise to lose weight must be aerobic. Uh, I'm I'm working on my own, grow my own food. Uh, oh, sorry, you're working on your grow your all your own food goal and get lots of gardening and building structures exercise, but it's not aerobic. Uh, gardening costumes. I'll consume, sorry. I'm a bit blind from this far away, sorry. Almost, uh, almost all my time as I'm getting it established. What do you think? Uh, I look, um, me, to me, Anne, uh, uh, I don't call it exercise, I call it movement. As long as you're moving your body uh, and burning, um, burning excess of, an excess uh, of fuel. Um, so any exercise, any movement that you're doing, and if that's gardening, um, you're burning more fuel, okay? So uh, the whole game of weight loss is um, a, a higher output than input. So uh, if, you, if gardening is burning a lot of fuel for you, then, then that should be sufficient. It doesn't have to be aerobic. You can, you can lose weight doing anaerobic exercise like uh, lifting weights because what that does is builds uh, more muscle. Muscle is... Um, Muscle is uh, active tissue, so muscle actually helps to bo uh, boost your metabolism and burn more fuel uh, in general. But, you know, walking can be great exercise. Um, yoga can be great exercise. Anything that is going to uh, help your body to burn more fuel, it doesn't matter what it is. It can be dancing. It can be anything that is enjoyable to you. And you know what? The more enjoyable it is, the more likely you are to do it. Um, I don't want people doing something that is that they've been told to do, uh, say by a personal trainer or someone like that who, uh, you know, probably has, you know, theories about what they should be, um, what people should be doing because scientifically it works. Um, but at the end of the day, if people don't like doing that, they're not going to do it. And we need to be doing the things that we really enjoy, and that's going to be different for everybody. Just like food, like. Um, you know, this is why I don't think diets, diets and diet plans work because, uh, you know, not everybody likes the same sorts of foods. And my theory is try it all, 
get the, get an abundance into your diet because that is what is going to be more enjoyable for most people. When we feel restricted to eating, you know, a very small portion of foods, i.e., you say starch, just starches and potatoes, uh, which I find very boring uh, on their own. Um, you know, that feels restrictive and people don't stick to it necessarily. They find it hard to stick to it. So how can we think of um, the things that we need to do? That, I mean, weight loss is basic. It's about energy in versus energy out. Uh, and then it's all the stuff that goes on in here, all right, that stops us from doing that. <laughs> this is this is most of it, all right? So, um, and with your exercise, um, if you are uh, if you're moving your body and if you're creating uh, uh, more more output than input, um, then that is going to help with your results. All right. If you're not getting the results at the moment, then potentially look at the input or what is it that might be going on in here that's creating creating a story about you know how this is hard for you and therefore it's creating little self sabotaging moments. We can have a, a chat about that offline if you'd like. <laughs> Um, alrighty, so does anybody else have any more questions for me um, while we're here? Does anybody have any questions about the up-leveling of the game and, uh, and how we're going to master all of the challenges that, that come to us in life and not let them hold us back, not let them be an excuse to not put ourselves first, to not do the things that we say we're going to do to not following through on our uh, intentions for ourselves um yeah does anyone have any more questions if not we'll just wrap it up today and i'll uh and i'll come back with a few more uh topics for discussion in the coming weeks one of those discussions coming up will be are you making this journey hard do you believe it's going to be hard uh, and therefore are you making it hard? So sometimes uh, I have this belief that we are always winning at the game that we are playing uh, and that also means that um, are you playing the game of um, this is hard, I'm never going to achieve my goals. Um, if that's the game you're playing, you're going to win it. <laughs> if you're playing the game of I got this, I know what I'm doing, you're going to win that game. So that uh, is a another topic of discussion as well. We're always um, winning the game that we're playing. So we're always winning the game we're playing and are you making this hard are two separate topics that I will talk to um, in coming weeks. So that's it for today. Wonderful people, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to my ramblings. Um, if anyone of you who is watching who is not a client of mine already <laughs> I think that's just Anne at the moment anyway uh, if anyone's watching on replay please leave me your comments um, uh, hit um, hashtag replay to let me know that you watched it uh, on replay let me know if that was helpful for you um, and if, if you know anyone watching this now or in replay um, uh, is on a weight loss journey and is is struggling with some of those challenges and is unsure you know, if you're unsure how to navigate these situations, how to think about the journey differently, um, how to handle, um, I don't know, whatever challenges are coming up in your life, uh, please reach out to me. This is what I'm here for. Uh, we can have a, a chat about my weight loss program. Um, if you, uh, you see if you're right for the program, see if the program is right for you. I fully appreciate that that's not for everybody, but um, I still would like to help you <clears throat> when you come and work with me one on one. You get you know personalized, tailored. Um, I guess help with your with your current situation with your situ you know with whatever crops up in your life I'm able there to help you you know specifically with what it is that you're dealing with because obviously everybody's challenges are different um, oh thank you Lisa uh, thank you Lisa highly recommends the program everyone Lisa has just announced this morning after three weeks she has lost seven pounds already which is wonderful I'm so glad to hear that um, and so, um, yeah, so if, um, if you are looking for some more tailored one-on-one -on -one support to help you through your specific challenges that you're facing, um, please do just reach out to me. Either leave me a comment um, in, or leave me a comment below or uh, just send me a direct message and we can have a chat. Um, otherwise, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in um, some upcoming lives. 
which I'm aiming to schedule in at a regular day and time every week, okay? Um, I haven't worked out what time that is. I just need to work it around my clients and work out a time that is going to be best for both North and South he Southern Hemisphere so we can all watch it at the same time, hopefully. Anyway, ciao for now, guys. Have a wonderful Thursday evening or Friday today. Uh, but have a, oh, Joanne. <laughs> I'm just saying goodbye, Joanne. You watch the replay. All right, see you later, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Ciao.